Yo, what is going on guys? It's Dimku here and today I'll be reviewing the model of wireless. I'm gonna be going over whether it can drag click, how to set it up, and what it's like to PvP with, and just some other generic things about the mouse. Before the video starts, over 80% of you aren't subscribed to the channel, so if you're new, make sure to subscribe to the channel, we're trying to hit 3k. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. When you first unbox the mouse, it's pretty nice and it comes with papers, the mouse and a charging cable. Pretty basic stuff, nothing too special about the unboxing experience, just know that it's really simple and nice. The mouse itself has a plastic build quality with normal RGB lights and the mouse is 69 grams and for some reference the G Pro light speed is 80 grams and the Viper Ultimate is 74 grams so not too shabby in terms of wireless gaming mice. Setting up this mouse is pretty nice to do if you can do it right. Basically I'm going to show you guys how to make a double click. So the first thing to do is go to the Glorious Core website and download the software. Once you download the software, you basically need to make an update because the earlier software is glitched and doesn't change the debounce time. Make sure you have your mouse plugged in with the USB-C cable before you press update or it will not work. I got this wrong the first time and it didn't double click. Now that it can double click, can you god bridge with this mouse? And the answer is yes, it's great for drag clicking and I'm surprised how good it is. You can get around 10 to 20 CPS short drag on it and 20 plus CPS long drag. One thing I like about this mouse's drag clicks is that they're consistent and register almost every single time with the right settings. Here are some NC Play HD clips with some hand cam. The clicks feel tense at first, but it's just that you need to break it in a little bit. For PvP, this mouse does really well with any clicking method, but it's super nice with butterfly. I get 12 to 20 CPS on average just butterfly clicking, and it helps if you want to get high CPS. I made butterfly clicking, so double clicking is a really nice feature to have, and the glide of this mouse is smooth and controlled without G floats, and I have no problems with it. The clicking sounds are really nice for ASMR sounds, so here are some UHC duels with jitter, butterfly, and normal click. The pros of this mouse is that it can drag click, there's a lot of customization in software, good glide, solid clicks, and it's super light. The only major con I found with this mouse is that it has really bad battery life. Overall it's really great wireless mouse for Minecraft PvP for only 80 bucks. It's really good at PvP and drag clicking. Overall I really like this mouse and it's one of the cheapest wireless gaming mice on the market. I think it's definitely worth $80 if you need a wireless gaming mouse, but the regular Model O might be a better option to save some more money. Comparing it to the G Pro Lightspeed and the Viper Ultimate, those mice can double click and are usually $50 more. Anyways, those are my thoughts on the Model O wireless. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. If you guys need a Hypixel Bedwars Guild, I'll leave a link to my guild discord in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.